pop out the seat on my uh, Indian Springfield Dark Horse. A little while ago, a company uh, called CC Rider reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to review one of their seats. I'm like, yeah, sure. So um, this was sent to me in the mail by CC Rider. It is a rider and passenger seat. It's a two-piece. It's a lot closer to the stock Indian seat than um, the Rogue seat is uh, with the, the two pieces. So what I'll do is I'll set up over on the bench. I'll unbox it. I'll show you the seat. Um, showing what I went with and then what I'm going to do is come over and bring take this one off um, and I'll put the rider on first just so you can see what it looks like if you want to do a solo setup and then what I'll do is I'll actually install it with the rider and the passenger and then we'll take it first and test drive so all right let's go to the bench so here's the box let's get into it and see what they sent us so this is there's two bags in here and in each bag has part of the seat. So this is the passenger seat. Matching rider seat. So this is what the set looks like. It's like this on the bike. So next step was let's take the uh, Old seat off motorcycle. On mine, I've got the passenger backrest installed, so I'm just going to remove this first. Next, I'm going to move over to these covers. We've got to pull the covers off of each side. These covers have three grommets that are holding them here. Set this somewhere where it doesn't get scratched. To remove the seat, we're going to take this six millimeter Allen bolt out. There's one of those on each side, so I'll take the other one off. The other thing you're gonna do is on mine, as you can see here, I don't have the Allen bolt that came with it. I've just got a, a hand I guess a hand screw. I don't know. So you're gonna take this off as well. I think there is a plastic washer underneath this to protect the fender, so be careful not to lose that. So now you just want to lift up and I I would put my hand under here just so you don't have anything scraping against your fender push pull forward and it's going to be two little notches there that are going to get held on by this so I'm going to set this aside um, off camera I'm going to actually clean this fender up so I'll join you back in a second got the old seat off I cleaned up over here like I said I was going to um, I just put this on here just to see what it would look like just with the solo saddle and it looks Pretty cool, I think, just if you wanted to ride uh, by yourself. Um, kind of nice, got a nice look with the round fender and everything. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I, I didn't bolt it down, I just set it on here, so I'm gonna take it back off, take it over to the bench, and I'll attach the uh, passenger, and then we'll put it all back on. The seat's gonna sit like this, but to do that we need to, re we need to attach both of them together. So it comes like this, it's just the same as the Indian setup. Uh, we've got four screws in here. We'll remove these. If you look on the seat, you'll see right here, you can slide these tabs underneath there. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll put the tab in on each side. Push them together. Then you'll see the holes coming through there and that's where you want to attach these screws. So I'll 
finished screwing these in. I'll just tighten them down a little bit. I'm not going to over tighten them. Uh, once we're done with this, I'll take it back over to the bike and we'll get the seat on. Here's the seat all together. And we're going to install it on here. So what I want to do first is get the strap and feed that up through the rider seat. So it's coming through. And then be really careful back here. I would keep my hand underneath this just so you don't put a nice pinstripe on your fender. And then I'm gonna feed the front of it down. And what you're trying to do is, there's two hooks right here. I don't know if you see those. There's two hooks in the frame that hook into the bottom of the seat, just like the stock Indian seat. So once you get those, start it. So now it's secured in the front. Pull that strap up. And then what you're going to want to do is to line this up with the hole. Uh, it should have a rubber washer. I didn't have one, so mine was lost. What I did, I took a, a grommet from uh, Home Depot and just cut it in half this way so whatever works right so we line those up set that there So that should hopefully protect our fender from any scratches. Okay, so that's connected there. You want to line up the seat bracket here with the hole in the frame. And push it down a little bit to get it started. So start this uh, screw in here. And we'll just that in the rest of the way and uh, what I'm going to do is I'll put these panels back on and the install is done the seat looks pretty good I think So I've been in this seat for about 55 miles and it actually feels really good. The weather cleared up today so I uh, got out with a group of guys. But yeah, the seat is firm but it holds you in, which is nice. Uh, I feel like I have a little bit more support than the stock Rogue seat that came on this bike. Uh, the other thing, it seems like a lot more substantial for the passenger. Haven't had a passenger on it yet, but uh, I've got a feeling that it's going to be a lot more conducive to a long ride with a, with a passenger. So, it looks phenomenal. Um, I, I tell you what, I was actually pleasantly surprised when I got it. Um, the pictures on the website don't do it justice, really. It looks a lot better in person uh, than the pictures. The quality is really well, well made. And uh, yeah, I think it's definitely an upgrade. So I can definitely recommend this seat. Uh, they're not paying me to do a review or anything. Um, it's an honest review. If I didn't like it, I'd tell you. But I'll, I'll put the pictures up in the video of uh, the stock rogue seat and this they both look great uh, but but yeah this is definitely one to look at so i'll leave a link in the description of the video where to buy uh, i'll put it also probably on the video here if you use messy garage coupon code you get uh eight percent off so 
hit me up in the comments and ask me any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye. still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Click on some other videos, but go home.